Greetings and welcome. Today, we will understand the concept of ecological pyramids in the ecosystem. A pyramid is a three-dimensional geometric shape with a polygonal base and triangular faces that converge to a single point called the apex or vertex. The area of a pyramid's base decreases towards the top or apex. So, we can relate these base areas to organisms at a particular trophic level. An ecological pyramid is a graphical representation of the relationship between organisms within a trophic level in an ecosystem. Here, two words are important, relationship and trophic level of organisms in the ecosystem. In an ecological pyramid, the trophic levels are represented by successive polygonal bases. So, each trophic level is related to the successive bases of the pyramid from the bottom to the apex. Usually, primary producers are represented by the bottom base of the pyramid. Primary consumers are represented by the next base of the polygon, and so on. The top area of the pyramid represents the top predators. You can see that the area of the base regions is gradually changing from the bottom to the top. In this example, the area of the bottom one, representing the primary producer, is more compared to others. The area of the top one is less. So, the areas may be related to some properties of the organisms for a particular trophic level. For example, the number of organisms, mass of the organisms, and amount of energy in each trophic level. Generally, three basic relationships are used for ecological pyramids. And they are numbers, biomass, and energy. In an ecosystem, a definite relationship exists among the number biomass, and energy of producers, primary consumers, secondary consumers, and tertiary consumers. When this relationship is expressed in a graph, a pyramid is obtained, which is called an ecological pyramid. So, we can define an ecological pyramid as the graphical representation designed to show the organisms at each trophic level based on some relationships in an ecosystem. Accordingly, ecological pyramids are classified as Pyramid of Numbers, Pyramid of Biomass, and Pyramid of Energy. Ecological pyramids are prepared based on the number of organisms, the biomass of the organisms, and energy in the biomass of organisms at each trophic level. Pyramid of Numbers the number of organisms or the population of the organisms within a particular trophic level is considered. If the number of organisms of primary producers is more, the area of the polygon will also be more. So, based on the population, the area will be different for different trophic levels. Here, the population is more in primary producer than in primary consumer and decreases successively if you go up in the trophic level. This is a pyramid of numbers that exists in a terrestrial ecosystem. Terrestrial means land-based ecosystems like forest ecosystems and desert ecosystems. In a forest ecosystem, the number of producers is highest. The number decreases in herbivore level, and the population decreases at each successive trophic level. The least population is found in the top carnivore level. Pyramid of Biomass Biomass is the amount of living or organic matter in an ecosystem. 
This type of pyramid represents the distribution of biomass in different trophic levels of the ecosystem. Here are two examples of pyramids of biomass. One is for the terrestrial ecosystem and the other is for the aquatic ecosystem. In an aquatic environment, the mass of organisms is less at the producer level and it increases towards the upper level of consumers. So, the shape of the pyramid is inverted. This type of pyramid is called an inverted pyramid. The normal one is called an upright pyramid. Pyramid of Energy a pyramid of energy shows the total quantity of available energy stored in the biomass of organisms at each level in the food chain of an ecosystem. In the forest ecosystem, 10% of energy flows to the successive higher trophic levels. So, 100 units of energy at the producer level go on depleting and only one unit of energy remain at the secondary consumer level. The energy flow pattern in aquatic environments is similar to that of the terrestrial environment. You can see that the amount of energy decreases from 10,000 kJ at the producer level to 1,000 kJ at the primary consumer level to 100 kJ at the secondary consumer level and finally to 10 kJ at the tertiary consumer level. This is known as the 10% energy rule in the food chain. That means only 10% of the energy is transferred to the next higher trophic level and 90% is lost. Let us conclude with the importance of ecological pyramids. Why should we study the concept of ecological pyramids? An ecological pyramid shows how efficiently energy is transferred from one level to another and also helps to quantify energy in a trophic level or food chain. These pyramids also show how various organisms in an ecosystem feed on each other, highlight their food patterns, and explain the relationship between the various levels. The ecological pyramids also help in monitoring the overall health and condition of an ecosystem. It also helps us understand how any further damage to any species or link in an ecosystem can be prevented. Hope you understand the concept of the ecological pyramid. Thank you. In our next episode, we will discuss the interesting topic of nutrient cycling or the biogeochemical cycle.